Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I am going to share some of the basic information about gold nanoparticles and its biomedical applications. Okay, gold nanoparticles are the highly stable metal nanoparticle. Because of the stability nature, these nanoparticles are widely used in different applications. Okay, other than this uh, stability nature, it has other features like uh, good biocompatibility lack of toxicity and this uh, surface of the gall we can functionalize very easily with other biomolecules and finally relatively um, inert in biological system so because of these properties the gall nanoparticles um, widely used in biomedical applications okay so they can be easily synthesized in a variety of shapes uh, like a uh, sphere, road like shape, core shape, nano star, and, uh, nano cages, octahedral structures like different with size ranging from 1 nanometer uh, or more than 100 nanometer from our laboratories. Okay, so for that, uh, normally commonly available synthesis methods are here. So, um, uh, for um, Nanosphere synthesis, we can use a citrate, I mean chemical reduction method or self-assembly method. And another is nano road synthesis. This for that we can use seed mediated synthesis method. Another is um, galvanic displacement method for nano cage preparation. And another is chemical reduction for nano cluster synthesis. And for um, nano octahedra synthesis, we can use hydrothermal methods. Okay, so these are the some of the commonly available uh, used uh, synthesis for gold and uh, nanoparticles. Next is a uh, piece of gold nanoparticles, and the first one and uh, one is uh, SPR effect that is um, surface plasmon resonance. This is one of the important property of gold nanoparticle. Uh, particle so when uh, the uh, gold nanoparticle is irradiated with light of specific frequencies which result in a collective oxidation of electrons along the metallic surfaces so these oxidation are termed as localized surface plasmon resonance or simply we can call as uh, surface plasmon resonance so in detail when this um, uh, means light okay so light is impacted with the condition band electron of the metals and which induce their coherent oxidation in resonance with the frequency of the incident light okay so the electron oxalate uh, a, a charge separation between the free electron and ionic um, metal core occur so uh, this will um, um, make uh, a electron oxalate back and forth on the particle surfaces so as a result a dipole oxidation create so this is the um, uh, about the this is about the SPR effect okay so now uh, using this SPR property uh, this core nanoparticle is quite uh, used in different um, biosensor application okay another one is the function so the call now for a particular uh, application uh, we need to uh, functionalize the gold nanoparticle surfaces with the suitable biomolecules so uh, the biomolecules such as dna rna uh, peptides antibodies or fluorescent dyes any biomolecule we can functionalize on the surface of these gold nanoparticles Okay, so how this nanoparticle can co conjugate it on the go um, gold nano surfaces by various that depend upon the different factors such as size of the peptide particles, sorry, size of the particles and uh, its surface chemistry as well as the type of ligand and functional group uh, which is added to the system. So depend upon these factors, we can um, choose the means the conjugation strategy we can choose. Okay, okay next is the application part. In the application because of the good biocompatibility, ease of functionalization and low toxicity and stability nature of this gold nanoparticles. We can use this gold nanoparticle in uh, uh, biomedical applications. 
so there are different um, uh, uh, field we can apply we can use uh, is a, a diagnostic agent or therapeutic agent we can use this particular as a drug carrier i can also use it for the pathogen detection and uh, biosensor applications okay so some of the applications i am discussing here the first one is biosensing so i am sensing because of the unique optical and electronic uh, properties of gold nanoparticles as well as the biocompatibility nature of the particle this is widely used in biosensing application so uh, the one of such uh, biosensor is sbr biosensor so this sbr biosensor is one of the optical sensor that measure the changes in the light or photon output so this optical phenomena uh, which uh, means that interaction between the electromagnetic wave and the condition band electron on the sbr sensor surface so which provide a wide range of opportunity for biomolecular recognition so if any biomolecule is there there is a shift in the sbr so based on that it work okay so this another one is the multicolor biosensor so this metal nanoparticle are highly efficient conjur for a range of bio uh, force so that's uh, so because of that uh, this is widely used for multicolor biosensing application okay next is um, gold nanoparticle for photodynamic and photothermal therapy so in photothermal therapy is a minimally invasive approved modality for clinical treatment of several type of cancers so in pdt um, a photosensitizer uh, a non toxic drug or dye uh, which administered to the uh, tumor site and then which selectively accumulate in the uh, tumor tissues and then be activated by visible light to generate reactive oxygen species or Uh, oxygen uh, in the form of a singlet state in the presence of molecular oxygen so which leads to uh, cell death okay so um, for this metal nanoparticles like gold nanoparticle can be useful uh, for enhance the photo dynamic uh, activity of uh, singlet oxygen generation okay so for that purpose the gold nanoparticles are used in in photodynamic uh, photothermal therapy we all know that the photo as um, thermal agent is there which accumulate in the tumor site so which convert the nir light energy into heat and produce um, uh, cell death in cell death so in in the uh, a, a, there are two important factors in the photothermal therapy one is extension coefficient and photothermal um, conversion efficiency so the, which determine the uh, performance of the photothermal agent so gold nano rod especially gold nano rod have the good photothermal uh, efficiency that is 21 percentage so this is so that it is used in the photothermal therapy okay next is the application is we can use the gold nano particle as a drug carrier so for that uh, we can functionalize the gold nano particle with any biomolecule so here in this picture this gold nano particle is functionalized with the already um, conjugated um, biomolecule means uh, uh, that is loaded with the uh, drug chemo uh, drug so the dna which uh, um, uh, conjugated with the uh, means um, uh, an anti cancer drug that is functionalized on i uh, means conjugated on the surface of the gold gold nano particle and that is used for the targeted drug delivery application okay so this all about the applications of the gold nano particle okay that's it so thank you for watching this video if you like this tutorial please share with your friends and contacts thank you